So a guy walks into a pawn shop. That's going to be the joke that this guy hears for the rest of his life. What's up, guys? Beastly Gamer here. Wanted to bring you another crazy story. I love when people do dumb shit at the expense of themselves to make my life better. I like when I read a story about somebody doing something stupid and it just puts a smile on my face. And I want to bring that smile to you guys right now. So pawn shops. We've all been inside pawn shops. We've all either pawned or bought something there. And a lot of people utilize that service. When you're down on your luck, you need a couple bucks, you got bills to pay, you pawn something off, bam, you got the money, you get your shit back, hopefully. And so that's the part of pawning that this particular individual understood, but didn't, he didn't understand the other part that you don't do. There's this guy named Jared Fournier who walked into a pawn shop uh, last Tuesday with an old video game system called the Sega Genesis, which is easily 25 years old. So that's the thing that kind of raised my eyebrow when I was reading this article. You walk into a pawn shop with a, a 25-year-old video game console, you can't really expect to get a lot of money. But this guy, Jared, is different. He walks to the front counter, slams the Sega Genesis down, and he tells the employees, that I want $700 for this Sega Genesis. And of course, if I was an employee, my eyebrow would raise straight up and say, what the hell are you talking about? Jared tells the employees, this is a special Sega Genesis and it's worth a lot more, but I'll take $700 for it today. I don't know how much these people offered him, but obviously they offered it to him. And this article came up in the news after the sale. Maltry, Georgia police say a pawn shop found meth, methamphetamine, inside an old video game console after a man tried to sell it. According to a report, Jared Fournier tried to pawn an old Sega Genesis console at American Pawn. It happened Tuesday, a little after 5 p.m. When workers at the shop checked the console after receiving it, they found an amount of crystal meth inside the game cartridge slot. They immediately called police who tracked down Fournier and arrested him. He was charged with possession of methamphetamine. There was no word on whether the Sega Genesis console was in working condition. Yes. So the story is Jared walked inside of a pawn shop with an old Sega Genesis loaded to the brim with crystal methamphetamine. And he tried to sell it. And obviously they received it in because if they had it and they called the cops and he was gone, either they saw the meth and, and told him right then that he ran out of the shop or they offered him a few dollars and took it in, in the back and started, uh, you know, looking at it and found this methamphetamine and uh, they called the cops. Now, Jared, I know you're in jail right now and I know for the rest of your life you're going to hear Jared walked into a pawn shop jokes and you deserve it because what you did was absolutely stupid. Hopefully you don't take this uh, as a career plan in the future. And if you feel like you absolutely have to break the law and, and sell methamphetamine, Watch Breaking Bad first, because this is this was never in any of the episodes. I don't know if you're trying to make your own episode, which you probably did, because this is funny as hell, but it was absolutely stupid. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, and if you did, give a thumbs up, show support for my channel, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe today. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.